God is stretching our faith. God is stretching our faith. What if Hebrews 1 says what? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for with the evidence of things not seen. And in the New Living Translation it says, hope, our faith shows us the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. So in a season of pruning, it's important to remember what God spoke to you at the beginning of the season. You got something. God told me this. He said, you need to go back and reread some of the diaries, some of the things that you wrote in your journals that God spoke to you at the beginning of this thing. You, and, and I encourage you all to do this. If you got something the Lord told you at the beginning of the season, go reread that thing. Go back to that place. Go back to that thing that God told you, told you at the beginning. Because pruning is not punishment. That's what the enemy wants you to think. He wants you to think that because you're going in this season and it doesn't make sense, I've been punished. God is punishing me. And that's not the case. God loves, God corrects us. That's how he, he loves us. He corrects us. He deals with us. So he has to deal with our heart. He's trying to stretch our faith because it's important for proper growth. How often do we magnify what was lost? How, how often do we magnify what we've lost in this season? How often do we try to hold on to what, what we've had in, this, in our seasons for so long and God's trying to bring us in a new season and we're still holding on to these things. We're still trying to hold on to these relationships. And we know deep down in our heart, they're not meant to go into this new place. There are some things that are not designed for your next place and this next season. So in the pruning, it's got to be dealt with. They've got to be cut off. They can no longer, uh, this thing, the things can no longer produce or give you nutrients. They don't, they don't provide anything for you anymore. You may lose some things, even things that are close to you. God will never leave you in a negative. God will never leave you in a negative. If something left, God is going to bring something to replace it. And I've been, I'm a witness that he'll bring double, triple. He will bring triple. And even the, even the things and the people or the, or the resources that you used to have that you thought and you held on close to and you thought you needed it, God sends you something better. And I want you to remind you that this season is not permanent. This pruning season is not permanent. It's just a season. Don't get comfortable in this place. And don't develop a losing and weary mindset. Because sometimes when we get in the pruning season, we start we get, well, it, oh, it gonna happen again. I lost this and I lost that. Not again. We develop this mindset and we start to hope and expect loss. <coughs> We start to expect defeat. And God is saying, look, the season's starting to turn. It's the, 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 the tide is turning. This is his word today, the tide is turning. You've been in this season of pruning and the tide is starting to turn. So you, I, I gotta deal with these things because you have developed a, a, a mindset of defeat where you expect it. I need you to start hoping again because that is what faith hangs its hat on, hope. Faith is the substance of things and the evidence of things not seen. You gotta begin hoping again. You gotta begin dreaming again, believing again, and believing that God can do it. And God wants you to get back to making radical faith moves. Get back to making radical faith moves. See, in this season, we kind of laid low. We did, let's be real, we laid low. We stop making certain moves we, so that they can, we think about our finances. Let's just be real. I'm, I'm going to talk about my house. I'm going to talk about our house. And I'm going to be real. I'm trying to explain that to The reality is this. We are, we, we've been making it every single month. And it's just like, Jesus, how are you, you going to do this? And then, and then the time comes in, boom, there it is. Our, 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 our check comes. And this like, it's just like you start getting this mind like, okay, God, I, I can't play this merry-go-round. I can't do this no more. I can't get to the last, you know how to do the last minute? And God said, like, he just want to, why you show up at the last minute? Can you, can you do it? Like, 
a week earlier. Can you sit that check a week so I ain't got to deal with all this? <laughs> so I ain't got to be doubting you, God. You know, let's just be real. We doubt that sometimes. And so that's kind of how the season has been. But God just keeps telling me, he said, the season has changed the season is changing, and it's not just with finances, it's with every area of our life. The season, hear this, the season is changing. The situation is changing. Hope again. The tide is turning. Expect. Believe again. That's what God is saying. And here's the thing, and, 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 and God said this, is somebody that needs to start something. Somebody needs to, to move into a new season. And, and the thing that keeps holding you back is, I don't have the money for it. You never had the money for it. When God told you, to, I, I, you ain't never had the money for it. But God brought the provision. What's stopping you now? Just know that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. And he's just stretching your faith. He's just making sure that your, 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 your anchor is not in people. Your anchor is not in people's opinions. Your anchor is not in their thought about you. No, your anchor is in what the Lord has spoken to you. And, and whatever God said, it will not return void. It Amen. shall accomplish that which he pleases. That's what the word says. It will not return void.